on debt, one group is hoping to force the White House and Congress to walk the walk. Our national debt is approaching one trillion dollars. A few weeks ago, I called such a figure, a trillion dollars, incomprehensible. I will recommend a federal spending freeze to work day and night, if that's what it takes, to meet the budget targets and to produce a budget on time. But in the end, we have to get back to the deficit. For years, there's been a lot of talk about it, but very few credible efforts to deal with it. Many of you have talked about the need to pay down our national debt. I listened, and I agree. We are prepared to freeze government spending for three years. I am proposing that starting this year, we freeze annual domestic spending for the next five years. Our national debt is approaching $1 trillion. A few weeks ago, I called such a figure a trillion dollars incomprehensible. Gretchen Hamill runs the group behind that ad. Gretchen, it makes the point that this has been a, I guess, a bipartisan screw-up here. So <laughs> hope springs eternal, and the words are, are unending, but the results are lacking, aren't they? Oh, the results are lacking, and you could say that Groundhog's Day happens State of the Union Day here inside the Beltway. So with every State of the Union, not each and every consistent one, but certainly through all these presidencies you outlined, going back to Ronald Reagan, there was always the goal of getting it under control, always the goal of getting spending under control. But I, I, I think th the problem was carrying over those big spending mm -hmm. cuts. Uh, and then in the case of tax cuts, when the revenue came in, and this was a rep against the Republican Congress at the time in the early 80s, they just spent that revenue and then some. So in other words, if you get the manna from heaven, you spend the manna from heaven, and you're deeper in fiscal hell, right? It, exactly. The intent has always been there, but the discipline has not been there. They've been talking about making these cuts since basically I've been born, since I was born, and yet nothing has actually been done about it. And that's how can we have a trouble with the tax debate today? Yes, taxes need to be reformed. There needs to be some changes there. But why should we give Washington another dollar until they can show that they can be disciplined with that dollar and spend it wisely? And also, look at the freezing. Reagan talked about freezing spending. President Obama talked about freezing spending. Spending. It's not about freezing spending, it's about cutting spending and scaling it back. Well, I mean, that's the great misnomer today when we talk about cuts in programs and this debt cut uh, that they've been agreeing to, the $1.3 trillion, trillion dollars in automatic cuts that supposedly kick in if these yeah. guys can't agree, which I guess will be the case. We're, it's just $1.3 trillion and slowing the growth of the debt. We'll still have $9 trillion in more debt over 10 years. So I'm with you on this, I, I, and I don't care whether you're right or left. It, you wouldn't pay more for a lousy car. So if you know yes. you've got a lousy or ineffective or inefficient government, you're not going to give it more money. You're going to, to, to ask that it improve the underlying product or fix the car or pr present a car that's more appealing, right? It, it, absolutely. And this isn't an issue that is a left issue or a right issue. We just had a poll that came out today that showed this is an issue across the board. Americans are concerned about this economy, and they think that the debt is hampering the growth of the economy and the progress the economy could be making. Good stuff, Gretchen. I just feel very old when you say you were born <laughs> when this talk started. I was, I'm a Reagan baby. I, yeah, okay, yeah, quite literally. <laughs> I, I was much older than that. All right, thank you. Good stuff.